We're um, trying to put together a clinical trial for um, using genistin for San Felipe disease. Um, because San Felipe is very rare, um, we've sought funding for the genistin trial from our national bodies, and they're not particularly interested in funding it because you know it's not stroke, it's not heart disease, um, it's not cancer, and. Part of the problem also is that there's very little intellectual property around genistin. However, we have very good data from our mouse model which suggests that genistin is effective in the mouse model at the very least. And a lot of patients are actually taking um, high doses of genistin which could be, could be toxic. We don't know. Um, and so we think that it's very important that we run um, a high dose genistin trial um, which we're trying to convene in the United Kingdom at the moment. Um, this would be a placebo-controlled, uh, double-blinded trial. Um, it would give us a, a, a clear outcome as to whether genistin is effective or not. And therefore, you know, really, whatever happens, it will tell us whether patients should be taking it or whether they shouldn't be taking it. At the moment, we've raised £450,000 um, out of £600,000 um, towards this trial. Um, and we still hope to be able to start this trial later on this year. Um, but we've had funding from, um, from the National MPS Society, from the uh, UK Mucopolysaccharidosis uh, Society, and from um, many of the European uh, uh, Mucopolysaccharide Disease Societies as well. And we feel that this is something that's, that, that really needs to be done um, and would very much like to, to raise the, the further funding towards this.